All right, hello everybody. It's your girl Shani, and I'm back with another episode of the Beauty and Soul podcast. But this time I have mm-hmm. a guest. So today I want to introduce you guys to Dominici. So Dominici is a New York based celebrity stylist extraordinaire. He has worked in the in the New York Fashion Week for over eight years. And Dominici recently launched a styling firm that has a passion for youth and care development. All right, so today's quote is the greatest investment you can make is in yourself. And that's unknown. Yes. So I want to say, Dominici, thank you so much for being in the video so podcast. Thank today. you for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> so go ahead and tell us like how did you start in the fashion industry? It's, I, honestly, I didn't even think I was going to be in the fashion industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started when I was like eight, 17 years old, and I realized I had a, a thing for color, and for like dressing well, and like fashion shows. So uh, what I did was, you know, after leaving uh, the foster care system I was in, uh, I got a job styling for uh, Audrey Smalls, the ground crew. Oh, wow. And she's one of the few like uh, agencies that are actually working for the like, luxury brands. Mm. So what I did was I got a job applying for a wardrobe stylist mm-hmm. and she actually picked me. And since 2013, I've been styling fashion shows every September, every February. Uh, God willing, I'll get to another eight years. Yes, you know? we're praying on that. Yes, yes. That's dope. That's really amazing. Yes. So it sounds like you started at a very, very young age. I really did. What would you say, like, was the turning point for you or, like, the stumbling block that, that you had to overcome? Because, as you know, the Beauty and Soul podcast, we talk about the B side of life, love, and business. Yes. So it's the side that people shy away from when it comes to life, love, and business. But it still needs to be discussed. You know, so yeah. so what would you say was that moment where you were like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, but this is where my heart is. I know exactly that moment, actually. I was living in Atlanta at the time, and I remember seeing shows on New York for New York Fashion Week and just living a lifestyle. And, you know, I applied for an agency called uh, Dress for Success, mm-hmm. an independent living program. When I when I uh, pretty much took the six weeks off just to stay in the program and focus on how to dress for success, how to you know use the right vocabulary, how to uh, groom yourself, you know, learning about credit and savings and all that stuff. I took six weeks out of my life to do that, to invest in myself. And when I was done with that, I was like, I need to go to New York. Now that turning point that you're speaking about is when I actually made that decision from leaving my support system in Atlanta and going back to New York, working as a fashion stylist, but really not having a home. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was actually living on a fence. I was living on a cousin's couch and I was just saving just so I can get my own apartment. Mm-hmm. And it was so expensive that I had to, you know, go back to Philly. Mm-hmm and take the China bus back and forth to New York just yeah. to make it to work, just to make it to the fashion shows. And that 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 year was the turning point of my life because it made me stronger and it built in this perseverance in myself that no one can take away or guide me off my path, you know? Yes. So my turning point was actually trying to find stability while maintaining, not the image, but just maintaining the lifestyle that I had, which was working as a stylist, which was living in the uh, living in Philadelphia, but all being on my own. Yeah. No family, no yeah. friends around. I mean, have friends, but like, it's nothing like an aunt or an uncle or a cousin or a grandma or a grandpa. There's nothing like that love and support that right. comes unconditionally almost by contract because mm-hmm. of the blood you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there's nothing like that love so you know I would say uh, my turning point was you know trying to find stability while living that lifestyle that I was trying to maintain in the most expensive city to live in yeah I mean if they say if you can make it in New York you can make it anywhere yeah. you know what I mean like Man. they don't say that for because no reason they don't say that for no reason like it's a real hustle and I can really uh, relate to that 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 struggle of like moving without knowing yeah, what yeah. to do and I and living on someone's couch and like dealing with that like yeah so many of us creatives and and entrepreneurs we have that same similar story yeah. so um just to see your growth and development from that point I think it's pretty dope 
you know um but i want to hear more about that lady who in, who saw something in you and she invested oh, in you miss audrey smalls if you're seeing this if you're hearing this i thank you from the bottom of my heart lady you are an inspiration beyond words uh so that agency that i applied for that that commute that i was referring to it was to get to these shows that um was pretty much hand selected and, and given to me by miss Audrey smalls you know miss Audrey smalls is a um a beautiful soul she is the she's a black founder of a black styling agency that styles backstage new york fashion week and we're not talking about you know your friend down the street that got her own clothing line which we're not discrediting but we're talking about a black agency and a black leader styling tom ford victoria's secret and met hermes donna karen oh, wow. every big time big name so this lady basically had an agency and she was training us and molding us and guiding us through how to conduct ourselves mm -hmm. backstage during fashion shows amongst all these different levels of lifestyles. Yeah. You know, literally that specific sentence that I said. Yeah. Also while, you know, getting a tax done yeah. to get a check, you know, yeah. but mm -hmm. still maintain a professionalism. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I think it from the bottom of my heart because Along with her and Miss Patricia, which is just another, it's like her right hand, you know, we were able to really mold into professional machines backstage. Mm -hmm. So much so that we would get rebooked and rebooked and rebooked. And I've never thought I'd be backstage of YSL fashion show. Yeah. Styling dressing the men or Victoria's Secret mm -hmm. or Hermes or Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. Now, I never thought that, but it's because it is one lady's experience and her dream and her her ability to use her experience yeah. and her connections to pour out to people like me and you. Yeah, you know, it's inspirational and it's literally what I want to do as well yeah you know so yeah. miss audrey smalls i'm going to be calling you soon you're going to see me soon <laughs> baby i am so appreciative of you and i'm not sure what hair color i want to be when i see you <laughs> but don't pick on me because <laughs> you had to think about that <laughs> that's so dope you yeah. know and i think also that the point that you emphasize her being a black founder yeah. um in, in a space where it's it's very very limited um for us black professionals to yes. be seen at that caliber um yes. of beauty and, and strength and and just glamour you know yes. what i mean so like for her to pour into you guys as as young adults um and to establish such a strong foundation that sounds like that was a calling for her to do and really? and i and I, I i say that to say with you starting your own firm it's like you're just keeping that that same type of momentum, that same type of passion and purpose in your work. Like you want to be able to pour into to youth the same way. I would love to continue her legacy and to like spread more opportunities. I would like to spread more opportunity. I would like to spread more opportunities to people who aren't actually getting to them. You know, yeah. having access, such like New York Fashion Week. You know. Yeah. But yeah, she she um she's definitely she definitely deserves an award if not ten, yeah. Because of the heart and the and the persistence and the knowledge that she has, it's just like I've never met a person that was just so strict and yeah. so stern, but still so loving and so well rounded and so yeah. bougie, but yeah. yet confident. you know confident, but yet humble, but yet <laughs> glowing, but yet. Aging gracefully, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I never, I never met, you know. So God bless wow. her. Wow, that's so amazing. Yeah, that's so amazing because even as you are describing her, I'm, I'm picturing like the Harlem Renaissance. I'm picturing like you know, like short hair. Yeah, like school. the yeah, you know, they were confident. Yep. Um, they were talented. They knew what they knew about themselves, and they just weren't going to take anything from just anybody. Exactly. And I think that same type of um, root strength needs to be ingrained in us, and it seems like it is ingrained yeah, in you. Um, I do have a question though. If you could talk to your younger self, 
like when you um you know feel like you kind of stumbled off your path what would you tell yourself to, to keep praying to keep slaying because it gets greater later boom yeah. Period. Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah. That's it. And sometimes it's that simple. It, I never thought about it that simply until yeah. you just asked me that question. Yeah. And I know my younger self is my hair on my speech. Right. So Yeah. Yeah. That's really dope. That's that's really, really dope. So like tell me more about, you know, the firm that you're here working on. Okay, and, so that's that's yeah. like that's my baby right now. Because along with the firm, it's like to have a project with the hair salon and have the firm. The firm is pretty much continuing, you know, what I feel. Yeah, just tell you what said everything's fine. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. The firm is pretty much an identical twin of what the RG Small Scrum crew was and currently is. I just would like to continue that, providing like styling services, hair, makeup, you know, uh, maybe need a photographer, a DJ, a host, yeah. but pretty much combining the elements of needing a service on demand. Yeah. Like how you call Uber? Yeah. Having a service on demand, but it being filled with talented people that didn't think that I had that opportunity. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for youth and care, you know. You know, children who are like homeless or, or you know, parentless or don't even know what they want to do in their life, but just know they have a passion for fashion or someone who knows how to iron well, someone who's not a sew, someone who knows how to put outfits together in their sleep, someone who knows how to do hair, yeah. do makeup. You know, there's a lot of us out here that are so talented, but we're so under the radar. Yeah. And yeah. so overlooked. You know, because we don't have that many followers, or mm -hmm. we didn't get to that celebrity yet, or yeah. you know, our friend didn't plug us in yet, or we didn't have sex with that person to get yeah. to the top. You know, so many of us out there, and I just feel like me being captain of the underdogs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm obligated to rally us up. <laughs> And get us to explore this world and get our get yeah. our art and our passion out there because someone somewhere needs to, to feel it, to see it, to hear it, to look at it in the mirror, to embody it. Yeah. Me just doing hair alone changes people's perspective on life or on themselves, you know, yeah. it makes them feel more confident in themselves. Yeah. Styling for fashion shows, you know, makes the designer proud of, you know, the work they have, you know prepared for us to see, but more importantly, it makes us feel great that we can be a part of something so big on a global scale. Mm -hmm. And I want to connect that with the less fortunate. Yes. That's it. Yes. That's it. Yes, yes. That's that's a beautiful mission. And I I see your your career, you know, being long and fruitful and just just joyful. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, like when you do that type of work, sometimes, you know, it's a little rough getting started. But like once you get that momentum going, like once people connect and hear your story and understand your why, it's gonna all come together. You know, so I think that's pretty dope. Um, but so now this is like the little flip side I didn't tell you about um, <laughs> of the podcast. So I'm gonna give you three words, okay. and then you tell me the first word that comes to your mind when okay. I say these words. Okay. okay. So the first word is life. Life. Style. Okay, that works for you. That works for you. The next one is love. Unconditionally. Mm. The next word is business. Savvy. Yes. See, that's that's what you represent. Wow. That's what you represent. You know what I mean? What was like my first word. What was the first? The first word you said was style. Because it was lifestyle. Yeah. Lifestyle. Yeah. And I live life in style. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, and I like I like to put those words at the end because without telling you guys, because it come whatever comes up is natural. For you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's really natural. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That's, that's a really good little what fact you know. Right there. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but okay, so the feature song for this episode, which I think is perfect because 
after hearing your story and like being in your presence, I feel your energy. You feel very high vibrational. You seem like you are at eternal peace and you know how to get yourself back there if anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the song that we chose for this um, episode is Frequency by Janae Eiffel. It's the perfect song for it. I yes. really want you guys not only to listen to the song, but I also want you to look into the lyrics and really read it as poetry yes. and read it out to yourself out loud yes. and let it speak to you just as it has spoken to us. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed our clip and our interview with the Beauty and Soul podcast. Dominici, tell everybody where you can um, be found. First of all, thank you for having me. Oh, it was no. such a pleasure, and you are rocking this fucking new hair. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, guys, let's listen. Okay. Oh, I don't know how, you know, my inner diva missed this point, but do y'all see this? Do y'all see the colorization that is going yes, on. It looks so good, so natural. He did. Yeah, yeah he did it yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Okay, guys. So yeah. I I am living, I am loving, I am embracing my inner goddess and my light, okay, and my love. And um so yeah, thank you. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> thank you for this hair. Okay. You um, forget what was the last question because I'm like, Yeah, it don't know. matter right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I want everybody to connect oh, with you yes. and, and where they can learn more about you. So share your information. So so far I'm on Bigo Live under Don Wick and you can also follow me on Instagram D O M I N I C C I Flair F L A I R. Um, that's pretty much where I'm at right now, I'm trying to get my followers and my audience back there. And then pretty soon I'll be on YouTube and hopefully you see me soon again with the lovely beautiful yeah, shiny, yes. with the and soul podcast. Yes, guys, we're gonna be doing so many amazing oh. things together because you know what? I like working with good people. Okay, like yes. if it's a good vibe, then I'm there. All right, so, so so I'm cool. All right, so you will see you will see <laughs> more. You know what I'm saying? So you know what? Let's cheers to that, cheers and to let's that. also cheers to the abundance that yes. we are going to be receiving. Yes. Okay, thank yes. you, and all of those good things. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning into the Beauty and Soul podcast. All thank right, you. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. It will be more to come. Okay, love and light.